I still have this whole bag. I don't have a gift. I'm, I'm exhausted. <coughs> it is 1 a.m. I ran out of yarn. It's called a yarn genie. Hi, welcome to my channel. I My hair is wet. I just took a shower. It is 6.30 p.m. on a Wednesday night. And I have to finish crocheted gift for my younger sibling because he's turning 17 on Sunday and it is Wednesday and you think oh Paige that's Thursday Friday Saturday like you have three days why are you freaking out well because we're leaving on our well on the birthday trip um to Universal Studios we're leaving Friday morning so I need to have it done by Friday morning and it's Wednesday night and I no this project is a big 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 project he wanted these like crocheted skull pants i'll put a picture here he wanted these cro crocheted skull pants i wasn't gonna get them done by christmas so i was like oh i'll just do them for your birthday and then i forgot about them like i started the process okay i've already sat down and i've already wrote down how to make the skull granny square like i know how to do it i've made a couple of them but i have nowhere near the amount you need to make a pair of pants so i was sitting on my bed yesterday and he's in my room and we're chit chatting about the trip and he's like oh yeah i'm so excited i'm like i'm almost 17 and then it hits me and I'm like, oh my god, your birthday is on Sunday. I don't have a gift. And then I was like, wait a minute. Yes, I do. The skull pants. And then I went, oh my god, I never finished the skull pants. So now I have to basically pull an all-nighter and finish the skull pants. Because I have a busy day tomorrow. So I'm not going to be able to do basically any crocheting Thursday. So I need to do all of the pants tonight. Let me just show you how much I have done. Okay, so we can see like how much I have left. All right, for the pair of pants, okay. <laughs> I have an example pair of pants. This is how we're gonna do the sizing, okay? So I got an example pair of pants. We're gonna lay it on the floor and kind of see how many squares I'm gonna need to make because right now I just started making the squares a couple months ago and then stopped. So I don't even think I have anywhere near the amount I'm supposed to have, but these, this is our supplies. Another fun fact, I only have one skein of black. Oh wait, I have one more skein of black. I only have one skein of this red color. It's burgundy. So let's just hope I only need one skein because that's literally all I have, um, which is fine. I think most of it is black anyways. So there's some loose threads, but here's what the skull looks like, okay? I figured out the process of making the skull. That's not an issue. Here's one made. We've got a stack here, okay? A little, a tiny stack compared to what I'm thinking we're gonna need. Nine, ten, okay. Ten squares. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay the pants down and then put these ten squares on the pants to just get an idea of how many more squares I'm gonna need. And now I'm just gonna do some math and some drawing. Basically figure out how many squares I need to make in order to make these pants. Looked at the pictures that I took. I'll kind of show you, but I took like these pictures of what it would look like, um, laying them out. Then I kind of drew a very bad, very rough sketch. I drew this little, little pant sketch out rough just with all the squares, but I counted all of the squares and then the half squares, I only need one of, but the other ones I'm going to need two of because you need a front and back, but the half squares are half on the front and half on the back. So you only need one of those. So I counted everything and I'm going to need 36 squares in order to make the pants match the pair of pants that I was given. So 36 squares. I have 10 squares. So let's just get going. That is literally I'm so tired. I'm I'm exhausted. I started at 6:30, almost 11:30. It's been five hours, and I am I'm not as close as I need to be. But I'll show you how much I got done. So I need 36 total squares. I already have 10 done. And what I've been doing is just all the all of the red parts. So like the skull part. I'm trying to do 26 of these, and then do the black outlining part all at once. So my goal has just been to do 26 of the skulls. So I have 10 skulls done. And then I have 13 like half skulls. Like I, cause these are two separate 
process is the top and the bottom so I'm, I'm doing all the tops now <laughs> and then I'm gonna go back and do all the bottoms of the schools and then um, I'll be done with all the skull parts and then I have to do the outlining in black and I'm trying to talk quietly because my door is open and everybody is asleep in the house and I don't want to wake anybody up so <laughs> I got these new shelves my new shelves for the cats to climb on the wall and they love them well one of my cats loves them the other cats don't really give a shit about them which is fine also i'm watching game of thrones while i crochet and i don't know if you get you guys have watched game of thrones but i'm on season five episode seven and holy shit also the one guy i forgot his name but he just got touched by one of the stone people so now he has like a scaly stone rash on his arm and i actually liked that character um so i think he's gonna die now or just like turn into one of those stone monsters i'm not really sure but i also cersei the fucking uh lannister girl that's like weird and into incest weirdo she just locked away the really cool queen is now queen because she married her son but she just got them locked away because her brother's gay anyways i love them and i can't believe they're in a dungeon right now and i don't know what's gonna happen and i'm kind of scared but i've just been watching game of thrones and crocheting and crocheting and crocheting and crocheting my, my hands hurt but there's not much i can do about it i have to just keep crocheting so it's fine also the pattern i'm using um it's a pattern i wrote myself and i drew the little doodles um on my ipad so if you want the pattern that i like used for these pants i can type it up i just kind of i looked at the picture and i i wrote down how i thought it was doing i figured it out but i wrote it all down if you guys do want a pattern i can make a video um if you guys want a tutorial on these pants enough talking more crocheting Can you tell I'm losing my mind a little bit? I ran out of yarn, the red yarn. Remember in the beginning I was like, I have one skein of red yarn and one skein of black yarn. I hope it's enough. It wasn't enough and I ran out of red yarn. And I still have like this many skulls to finish. They're half done. Um, So I need more red yarn. So I'm like frantically searching through all of the yarn that I have amidst my room, like the carts the baskets i'm like please please that i at least have like half a skein or just a little bit more of this fucking burgundy it's called burgundy i have the little paper <laughs> and i'm literally about to give up and then i find this and i'm like that looks like burgundy looks looks a little looks a little like burgundy burgundy and then i'm like but it kind of doesn't so i have some of the leftover burgundy because okay, so like this is a piece of what i was using i put it on here i think it's the same thing because i don't have a label for this but i think it's the same thing so i'm just going to use it as if it is and if it looks different crisis averted it is 1 a.m and we're just gonna keep going my hands really hurt my elbows really hurt my neck hurts my back hurts everything hurts i might call it at like 2 a.m or 3 to sleep and then wake back up and do it all over again i have so much shit to do tomorrow i don't have time to do this tomorrow so i'm trying to stay up like as late as i physically can and as much as my hands can take until i give up and do the rest tomorrow because i don't have time tomorrow like okay so tomorrow i have to go pick up dylan's friend from the airport at two and then come back home and then i have to go watch dylan present something for a school project for like three hours and then i have to pack my bag because we're going to universal studios friday morning okay so i don't have time for this this needs to be done like literally like this should have been done a month ago and i'm fucking stupid i cannot believe i forgot oh okay whatever whatever i gotta keep going also i'm still watching game of thrones the cersei just got fucking thrown into the dungeon for a bunch of her crimes including um and thank god i hate that hoe so excited that she's in the dungeon can't wait to see what happens to her kind of hope they you know what i mean and i just got to the episode where those really scary skeleton zombie things i think they're called uh, white walkers i don't know if those are white walkers i don't know if the skeleton zombie thingies are white walkers or just the like scary ice person on the horse 
Like, is that the way? That's a White Walker, but he doesn't look like a skeleton. The other ones look like skeletons, so I'm kind of confused, but I think they're all White Walkers. If they are all White Walkers, that is terrifying. <laughs> like, holy shit. Okay, those things run. Run. Like, when you say Walker, right? Walker? Okay, I think that those motherfuckers walk. I think they're walking. Those White Walkers run, and they run really fast. Anyways, whole army of them. I'm looking over here because that's where my screen is whole army of them just stormed the wilding wildlings and Jon Snow's like I fucking got this like don't even stress I think it was crazy the part after they kill everything and Jon Snow's on the boat and they're rowing away and they're just like looking at all the white walkers and then all of the dead people they just killed like rise up with the white walker eyes like talk about doubling your fucking army anyways enough talk I need to crochet <laughs> It is 2 a.m. and I'm happy to say I have made 26 skulls. This does not include the black edging that goes around it. So I have 10 completed squares, 26 skulls. I'm gonna go to sleep and we'll come back tomorrow and get all of this done before I go to bed tomorrow. Also, I wanted to show you guys something. I got this, it's called a yarn genie. It's for those like skeins that don't pull from the middle like this one didn't pull from the middle i couldn't find where it pulled so i was pulling from the outside but it can be kind of a pain to pull from the outside because then you have to stop and unravel it it basically it's stuck up here with a magnet you stick this through the center it magnetizes on the top so while you're working and you're pulling one end it just it spins and I haven't actually gotten a chance to use it since I got it for Christmas because I haven't had a skein that like wouldn't pull from the middle and this was the first time using it and I want to say 10 out of 10 I actually really liked this the only thing that was a little tricky was sticking this in the middle I feel like I knotted the inside like a motherfucker like I'm pretty sure this the inside of this thing is all knotted now because I literally had to just like shove it in there which i think is fine i don't know we'll see we'll see when i get closer to the end if it literally just knotted this but regardless i think that i'm tired i'm gonna brush my teeth and lay in bed and read on my kindle until i fall asleep so i'll see you tomorrow all right so to have come out since high school because honestly in high school i would say got ugly oh, look the same. So would she moved over here she moved over here hi alice oh brecky is a diet ho oh okay now i'm just gonna sit and i'm gonna try and weave in all of these ends before i have to leave at one so i have one hour so let's see if i can do it uh it is 12 30 and i did it i did it oh, i sewed in all of the ends of all of the skulls 26 skulls to total 36 so 26 left i just have to do the outlining in black now so <clears throat> i put them all in this baggie to like keep them clean and Keep the cats from clawing at them. Hello, I'm back. I'm back in my room. It is 5.09. I have gotten like two squares done. I still have this whole bag of skulls to put the outline on. So once that's done, I can put them all together for a complete pants, hopefully. I'm praying. Um, anyways, it's 5 p.m. I leave here at 6 p.m. to go watch Dylan present at their school function thing. And then when I come back, I literally have the rest of the night just to finish these pants that I am very far from finishing. Anyways, I posted on TikTok about my Nanami cat hood tutorial video. So we'll see if I get some hits on that. I'm gonna go downstairs and crochet until I have to leave. So let's go downstairs. It's 8 30 p.m. We're leaving in the morning at 10 a.m. So I have to get these pants done before I go to sleep. So it's 8 30. Uh, let's see how much I can get done. Earlier when I crocheted downstairs I got one square done. This is how many skulls I have left. Okay and I'm still watching Game of Thrones. <sighs> let's just keep crocheting. Hi everyone, this is Paige from a few days later, realizing while editing the video that I did not 
cro- crochet oh my god i did not film like an outro or um like there's like a little spot missing of me attaching all of the squares of the pants so i apologize for that but the pants did get done the squares got attached and here's what the pants look like dylan loved them um I still, in this clip, I still needed to weave in all of my ends, but I really just wanted to get the video done, so I did weave in these ends that you're seeing. There's this cool, like, little drawstring um, part around the waistband that I figured out just from some other stitches that I did in other projects, but yeah, the pants did get finished, so yay! Uh, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you, I love you, Uh, please subscribe, and like the video obviously if you have any questions put them in the comments down below and if you want a tutorial on how i made these pants comment and i will make one thanks for watching